first of all, I would like to appreciate my uh, deepest appreciation for Jerry and you for uh, having the courage, the sensitivity, and the openness, and for the desiring and allowing of Abraham process. I see you both as one of the greatest teachers of well-being for the humankind. So thank you first for this. We are appreciating your appreciation and we are all in this together. Yes, and you are do. the evoker of the expansion of this message. Do you get that? Do yes. you know if it were not for the life that you are living and the questions that you are asking that this expansion and clarity could not be? It is you who deserves the appreciation. Thank you. Uh, what I wanted to ask is um, regarding relationships. Um, Jerry talks about one on the cities regarding like attracts like and something that we know that calls that opposite attracts. And you've mentioned that this is the subject that concerns um, harmony and not um, uh, intentions. And I wanted a little, ex maybe if you can expand some words about this, what is the difference between the two? Well, if we were entering into a relationship with another, our marriage vows would say, I like you pretty good, let's see how it goes. <laughs> you see, this subject of relationships really speaks to what we were talking about already here, in that so often, you, when you come together with another, usually in the beginning, you are each hoping for and looking for the best in one another and that's a very good basis to begin because when you are looking for it you are finding it and so what you're actually doing is using the positive aspects of each other to be your excuse to tune yourself into who you really are in other words when you see something in another that makes you feel good you have fixated on something that has caused you to become a vibrational match to the greater part of you that's what in love is it's being a vibrational match to who you are but so often people want to find approval or appreciation from each other and in looking for it from each other they forget about the vibrational alignment between who they are and who they really are so we want to say to you that if you will let the relationship that matters most far more than all other relationships put together be the relationship between you and you a really good thing to ask yourself on a really regular basis as you are involved in your interpersonal relationships let's say you're you're looking at someone and you don't like what you see and you feel negative emotion because you've fixated on something that the source within you would never fixate on source within you is a lover and when you see something that you are not loving you're using that as your excuse to separate yourself from who you really are and you're blaming that person if you didn't have that I'd feel better and we say that's probably true if you were observing something that made you feel good then it would be easy for you to be a vibrational match but don't ask others to stand on their head so that you can tune into who you are tune into who you are let your feelings be unheardable be a vibrational match to who you are and then be the lover that you truly are are, you see so there are two things that we would say on a regular basis in our quest for relationships of all kinds the first is we would begin practicing when we feel positive emotion we would say what is it that I'm focused upon within you that I'm using as my excuse to tune into who I really am such a good statement if we're feeling negative emotion we would say what is it that I'm focused upon in you that I'm using as my excuse to not be who I really am Feel the power in that. If you say, your behavior makes me feel bad, you're totally disempowered. But if you say, what is it that I'm seeing in you? I could see other things because you are a multidimensional being with many aspects. But what is it that I'm seeing in you that has me separated because I'm not seeing you as the source within me is seeing you? The other statement is just that. Anytime you feel negative emotion, stop and say, I wonder how the source within me sees you 
And if you're feeling negative emotion, you can know the source within you is seeing it differently because negative emotion is your indicator that you're looking at something differently from who you really are. And it always means you've stepped back from who you are. It always means you're not up to speed with who you are. It always means you're not seeing this world in this moment through the eyes of source. You're instead seeing it through some disconnected, dependent uh, vantage point where I need you to be different so that I can feel better. You are very hard on each other you are very hard on each other as you need others to behave in certain ways but when you let the relationship of all relationships be your relationship with your inner being with the source within you you tend to that first by practicing it all of the time and before you know it you'll be so tuned in tapped in turned on that you will see only positive aspects in others we're visiting with a woman one day she was discussing her ex-husband who she had nothing good to say about and we were encouraging her to have something good to say about him in fact we were encouraging that she begin making a list of positive aspects about him and she said oh Abraham I don't want to get back together with him I don't even want to have lunch with him <laughs> and we said we're not trying to get you back together with him we're trying to get you back together with you in other words you can't condemn another without separating yourself and that's why you feel such strong emotions about so many people you don't feel good and you think it's because of something that they are doing you see so there are so many wonderful relationships to be experienced and when you get tuned into who you are first and then you begin to move through your day looking for the best in others before you know it you'll be so tuned to the best in others and in the world that it will be a really rare experience when someone bumps up against you who's not a vibrational match to that well-being isn't it interesting to know that you have control over the behavior of all others now hear this you have control over the behavior of all others as it relates to you because you are evoking from everyone where your vibration is about them so if you train your vibration into the best of them then they must give it to you that's what positive expectation is that's what true upliftment is getting tuned into who they really are you see and if they're really vibrating in a different place than you are law of attraction will not bring you to the same place even if you live in the same house you'll zig and zag you'll wake up at different times you'll sort of have different thoughts you'll go one way the other will go another way in other words no problem at all the universe only brings you aspects of others that are active within you so everything you're getting from everyone that you're getting from you're getting it as an indication of your vibration <coughs> Jerry and Esther's friend Mike on the camera made a button and gave it to them and the button says hi I'm your vibrational indicator <laughs> so if someone's rude to you they're your vibrational indicator if someone's charming they're your vibrational indicator you only get back what you are giving out you see so it's really worthwhile training yourself into alignment with who you really are good to know yes indeed good time for segment of reflection thank you we are